Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Kevin Boog, and he is KF0IPD. And his question is a problem that he's having when he connects his computer to his radio, which is the ICOM 7300, the same radio that I have over here. Uh, he's got the single cable from the USB connector on the back to his computer. And the problem that he is running into is that when he turns on his uh, radio, in fact, when he just powers it up, doesn't even have to be turned on, is that the computer does not want to put out audio normally, but takes the audio from the, um, the radio. And then when he turns all that off, his computer acts normal again. So let's see if we can answer that question fairly quickly. If you look on the computer down here at the bottom where the speaker is, okay, and you click on that, and then you click here, you'll find out that you actually have multiple playback devices. Now this one down here, speakers, USB audio codec, that is in fact the ICOM 7300. Okay, now LG Ultrafine and Video is probably going to try to send the audio to your monitor. Um, there is a digital output, which I don't use. I use the analog outputs. And this right here is my uh, default device. So if I go over here and uh, turn on, um, what did we just call that? It's uh, X. Yeah, and I had put something on the screen for that. Okay. Here is WSJTX. Now let's turn this to um, SSB. Um, no, it's USB data. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of that uh, Morse, and we're gonna have the audio down there. Okay, and we'll put this around where the stuff is and this is showing control let's get the 20 meter frequency in here okay now what's going to happen here if you look at file settings you've got your general stuff and the radio which i've got set up and then the audio the audio is coming through the audio USB audio codec, which it should. Speakers are the USB audio codec. That is the USB cable that goes over to the radio. Now, when I click OK, and I come back down here, let's see which audio I have here, OK? This is the normal speaker output. So you're going to have to go over here into settings, in settings, okay, and you're going to be looking for sound, sound, okay, you've got output, and see you've got an input device right here, and it's trying to give me the USB audio codec, and I really want to use the microphone and the webcam, okay which you can see down here right now, okay? And now let's see what that did up here. File, uh, settings, audio, and it's still correct down here. So I've got my microphone straightened out and I've got my computer audio straightened out so that I'm hearing it locally over here and we have FT8 working properly. So, that's what's going on in your case. You, the problem is not the radio. The problem is the computer, just getting the computer set up. So get your FT8, get the right speakers and, and microphone for that, which is the USB audio codec. Note before you connect your cable 
you've got your 7300 before you connect the cable to the computer you do have to install a driver uh, that comes from ICOM and is on their page for downloads and then get everything set up it should work uh, another thing you can do if you have that problem is not only shut down the ICOM but shut down the power to it now listen to this I'm going to turn off the power to the radio. I should have turned the radio off first. There, you just heard the speaker letting go of it. Now, if I turn this power back on, okay, the radio was uh, uh, comes back on. I'm going to turn the radio off. Okay, it's connected. It thinks it's listening to it right here. Okay, now let's turn this off and listen to the computer. Listen to the computer. Oh, there, you just heard it. It says error in sound input. I've still got this stuff up here. Okay, so very good. So uh, audio problems, especially with Windows 10 and 11, can be difficult to solve. Uh, you have to go into the settings and then go into sound, take a look at what is going where, uh, what they've put in the latest in Windows 10 and Windows uh, 11 is not as clear as it used to be. So you may have to experiment a little bit. Uh, what you see when you pull up sound, select the ones for your computer. And then when you go to um, FT8 or WSJTX, uh, go ahead and pick uh, the audio codec, uh, USB audio codec, which connects you over to your radio. So you see that you've got um, kind of a bunch of balls uh, that need to be uh, juggled in the air all the time. Now, I would like to pay a special thank you to uh, Raymond Sullivan. Raymond Sullivan is one of my patrons and a recent patron. And he is helping keep this channel afloat financially. And if you would like to help by becoming a patron yourself, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. You see that on the screen here, patreon.com slash ke0og. And until we next meet, 73.